Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to make this fondant bus topper. Um, so I started off with this one just to make it really lightweight with just some Rice Krispie squares. Um, these are the shop bought ones and we're just going to take three regular sized ones and then you're going to cut one um, to the width of every one, all of the other ones to just stick on the front to make it a little bit longer. And we're just going to stick these together just with a little bit of um, white chocolate ganache. And this is going to form the base of our bus. So you can see I'm making two buses for this cake. And we're just going to cover these in rice, uh, sorry, in ganache. So the reason I chose to make them from Rice Krispie Squares for two reasons. One, it's lighter. So if you used to put it on top of the cake, you wouldn't need any um, additional support in there to stop it from sinking. And also for the second reason is that it's really, really difficult to get a really sharp um, rectangle shape just using fondant you have to let it dry and then sometimes when you've let it dry it kind of loses its shape a little bit or it starts sagging at the bottom so with these once they're stuck together and covered in ganache you pop them in the fridge for about 10 minutes and then they're dried and ready to cover um, if you wanted to use cake you could do that as well but these were for decoration just on the board um, of the cake that I made so they weren't going to be um, eaten really and so I just decided to make them out of Rice Krispie squares. So once you've got them covered it is a little bit messy because obviously you're trying to cover all the sides and um, you just want to smooth it off with um, a smoother. So the reason we're covering it with the ganache is to give a nice soft uh, sorry a nice smooth finish and so we're not going to see the dimples of the Rice Krispies underneath. So we're just going to round the edges of the top of the bus and the front of the bus. Now this one I've decided to colour yellow. So we're just going to roll out some fondant. It doesn't need to be overly thin. Um, I've decided to cover it with modelling paste just because I'm working um, on a deadline. And so I wanted it to dry fairly quickly. So once you've um, rolled your fondant out, we're then going to cover the bus with it. Now for any rectangle or squared covered cakes or models or anything like that, I always use the same method. So I will pop the fondant over the top, secure the top and the sides and then on the shorter two sides I'm just going to trim off the edges and then I'll pinch together these corners. So I'll pinch so that they're secure to the cake and then I will cut them. And then because the fondant's um, just been mixed and it's still quite soft, it's really, really easy to blend in the lines that we've just created from um, cutting the fondant like that. So just smooth it over with your hands, smoothing out the edges to get rid of the marks that are, have been made by the scissors. And then just with a flexi smoother, I'm just going to go ahead and just rub that all over the bus just to get it nice and smooth. Just pushing down on those edges and that's just going to give us a really nice finish. So with this cake I did a red bus and I did a yellow bus. This tutorial obviously only shows you how to make the yellow one. They both were exactly the same method. Um, the only difference was is obviously one was red and one was yellow. So if you've got two flexi smoothers Use one to hold the bus and the other one to smooth the edges. So once you've smoothed your bus out, we're going to take some more yellow fondant and we're going to cut this quite thick and this is going to create a bumper for the bus. And so we're just going to wrap it around the front of the bus and it almost just needs to come around maybe about a centimetre, a centimetre and a half over the um, side of the bus like so and then with some white fondant we're going to make some windows um, so for this one I've kept it quite simple and I've literally just rolled a strip of white fondant and I'm just going to um, trim that down so again this was quite small um, maybe about a centimeter and a half again because obviously the bus is quite small and I'm just literally going to wrap that around the bus um, quite near to the top 
and we're just going to stick that on with a little bit of water. So just push it around. And then if you've done what I've done, which is not roll it long enough, um, if you trim off the excess to join sort of like at the side of the bus, and then we'll just cut out another shape similar to what we've just done and add that on. The reason I say to do it there is that we're going to cover the edges with some black fondant so it will hide um, any kind of joins or anything like that. So you can see I'm just adding that extra bit of fondant on there. I'm just trimming off the excess. So next we're just going to do the bus's eyes and the bus's nose. So a little um, oval shape for the nose, which you can see I've just got there on my desk. And then for the eyes, we're just going to roll two balls of white fondant. And we're going to flatten these slightly. Try to get them roughly the same size. And then just with some black fondant, we're going to do the same step again, but slightly smaller. And these, you could put them at any position that you wanted, whether you wanted them in the middle, looking up, looking to the side. And then we're just going to pop that fondant onto the white fondant that we've got. And then just flatten it with your finger. And so we're going to repeat that whole process again with another bit of white fondant, this time on a really small scale. And this is just going to be for the light reflection in the eye. So just sticking that on with a little bit of water and pushing it down with your Dresden tool. So we're going to pop those to one side along with the bus and I've got an extruder um, and you can see the connection on the extruder is fairly small. So we're just going to pop in some black fondant. Now, the reason that I'm using this is because it's all the same size once it comes out. It's a really quick way of getting lots of pieces of black fondant rolled out that are all the same size. Um, and we've got quite a lot of this to use on the bus. So we're going to line the windows all the way around. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to make some... Um, marks in the window for them to be separate so instead of having one big window all the way around we're going to have one window at the front one window at the back and then you will have your windows at the side as well so with a little bit of water if you go around the edge of the white and then just stick our first piece of black fondant on wrapping it around as far as it'll go and then we're just going to do the same process with trimming it off at a corner and then wrapping the rest, like another piece of um, black fondant around. So like that. And then you're going to do the same for the bottom. It's really difficult to get um, different camera angles whilst you're recording this. I only have the one camera and to stop and change um, sometimes when I'm pushed for time because like the majority of cake makers I leave everything till the last minute. Um, but I, what I am starting to do is over on my Facebook page which is Cake Nation Academy is I'm just in the process of putting together some online classes which will give me the time to be able to look at things from a different angle um, and I'm also looking at doing some lives as well where you can pop on and ask me any questions that you want and I'll show you sort of like in real time how to do some stuff as well so there is a link in the description box below of everything that I've used for today's video and also a link to that group so feel free to join So once you've worked your way around the bus, just doing the top and the bottom, we're then going to go ahead and go around the corners. So like I said, um, it's going to hide any joins that you've got. Um, so if you've um, joined the 
windows or anything like that this piece of black fondant now is going to cover those so we're just going to pop that into place like so and then we're going to repeat that process all the way around the bus on all four corners again just attaching with a little bit of water or edible glue And then we're going to cut some uh, pieces all the same size and this is going to be what we use to separate the windows on the side of the bus. So it's really difficult to hold at this point because the fondant is still quite soft. Um, so if you're going to do this, I would recommend that you cover the bus and allow some time to dry so that you can pick it up. So you're going to separate the windows like I've just shown you on both sides and then we're going to do the front of the face so we're going to stick the eyes on that we made earlier on try to get them so that the light reflection is in the same place on each eye pointing in the same direction bob on the nose like so and then we're going to put in a little mouth, so just with the Dresden tool, we're just going to make a little bit of a smile. And then we're going to roll out a little bit more fondant, try to get it so it's kind of pointy at one side than the other. And this is going to be the windscreen wipers. And so I'm just going back in with a, a wider Dresden tool just to create more of a bottom lip for that smile that we've got. And I've decided to put the wipers up on this bus, but you could put them down if you wanted. So you could make this cake for any type of nursery rhyme cakes, which is what mine was from. So just pop them on and just re go over. The bottom lip if need be just to mark out a little bit more of a mouth so pop that to one side next we're going to do the wheels so I've got some more black fondant and we're going to roll some black balls I'm just going to make sure we get them roughly the same size and then all you're going to do is you're going to flatten them with your fingers So we don't want to flatten them too much because we still want them to be quite bulky for the wheels. But when you flatten them you'll be able to see whether they're roughly the same size or not. So now we're going to do the uh, same thing again. So just roll some small grey balls and these are going to be used just to go in the centre of the wheel. And then we're just going to use a little tool just to create some little holes just to make it look a little bit more realistic even though it's quite cartoony and then we're going to go stick these on the bus so obviously you've got two wheels either side we're just going to stick it on with a little bit of water and then what we're also going to do is once those are stuck on we're then going to um, put some more yellow over the top of them So just rolling out some thicker yellow fondant and cutting it roughly the same size, wetting the top of the wheel and then we're just going to pop that on like that. So you can see I've just cut an arch over that one and we're just going to pop that into place and then we're going to do the same for all the other wheels. So once you've finished, you should have something that looks like this. Here was the finished cake that I've put it on. Now I do have tutorials for most of these animals and more over on my channel. I will put a link in the description box below for these. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please comment down below, give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to see more of my videos, please click the links on the screen now. Thanks for watching.